Olivia from Hopeful Honey here. Today we're learning how to crochet the star stitch. To begin, chain in multiples of 2 plus 1. Let's move on to row 1, shall we? So to begin, you want to pick up a loop in the second chain from your hook. So to pick up a loop, you want to insert your crochet hook in the designated chain, yarn over and pull back through that chain stitch. Two loops on your hook. Continue picking up one loop in each of the next four chains. Once you've picked up all the loops, you should have six loops on your crochet hook. So this is that second loop you were picking up. Another two to go. There you go, six loops on your hook. Now yarn over and pull through all six loops on your hook at the same time. There you go, you've created your star. Now chain one. So the chain one forms the eye of the star. Remember that for later. Now you're going to crochet a star stitch along the side of the previous star stitch. So to crochet that next star stitch, you'll want to insert your hook in the eye of the previous star stitch and draw up a loop. So two loops on your hook. Then you want to insert your hook in the last loop of the previous star. Yarn over, pull back through, three loops on your hook. Then pick up a loop in the last stitch, so the last chain of the previous star. So that's four loops. Now pick up a loop in each of the next two chain stitches. So one. Two. There you go. Six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all six loops. Then chain one, remember this forms the eye of the star. There you go. So continue repeating the pattern of crocheting the next star stitch along the side of the previous star stitch and across the next two chains all the way across to reach the end of row one. Once you reach the end of row one, crochet one half double crochet in the last chain. So the same chain as the last loop of the previous star. And you've just completed row one. Let's move on to row two, shall we? So to begin, chain one. Then turn your work so you're crocheting in the other direction. Now crochet one single crochet in the same stitch as the chain one. Then crochet one single crochet in the eye of the first star stitch. So remember the eye of the star stitches are the chain ones. Now crochet two single crochets in the eye of the next star stitch. So this will be your first single crochet. Now on to your second single crochet. So continue repeating the pattern of crocheting two single crochets in the eye of every star stitch all the way across to reach the end of row two. Once you reach the end of row two, crochet one single crochet in that turning chain. And you've just completed row two. Time to move on to row three. So for row three, chain two. Then turn your work so you're crocheting in the other direction. 
Now for that first star stitch, you'll want to pick up a loop in the front strand of the second chain from your hook. Two loops on your hook. Then pick up a loop in the back strand of the same chain. This can be a bit tricky at first, but with a bit of practice it comes easily. Three loops on your hook. Then pick up a loop in each of the next three stitches. So that's one. Two. And three. Six loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through all the loops on your hook. Your first star stitch of row three. Now chain one. This forms the eye of the star. So to crochet that next star stitch, pick up a loop in the eye of the last star. Then pick up a loop through the last loop of the previous star. So three loops on your hook. Then pick up a loop through the same stitch as the last loop of the previous star. So four loops on your hook. Then pick up a loop in each of the next two stitches. So one, two. Six loops on your hook. Now yarn over and draw through all the loops on your hook. Then chain one. This counts as the eye of the star. There you go. So continue repeating the pattern of crocheting the next star stitch along the side of the previous star stitch and across the next two single crochets all the way across to reach the end of row 3. Once you reach the end of row 3 you'll want to crochet one half double crochet in the last stitch. The same stitch as the last loop of the last star. There you go! Now that you've completed row 3, you'll want to continue repeating rows 2 to 3 until you've reached your desired length. This is how the star stitch starts to look after repeating rows 2 to 3 multiple times. There's dozens of reasons why I love using this stitch, the main one being that I find this the ideal stitch for any crochet to give a go as it is fairly simple to learn and master yet still creates an interesting texture and design. By remaining nice and neat at the back, the stitch works perfectly when crocheting vibrantly coloured projects such as snuggly scarves or cosy afghans.